Under what conditions is fair use of trademarks permitted? Not every use of trademark is infringement. Individuals and entities may be permitted the fair use of another's trademark under two conditions. These are known as nominative fair use and classic fair use. Nominative fair use covers many occasions in which a party other than the trademark owner is using the mark to refer to genuine goods or services. An example of nominative fair use is when an auto repair shop advertises that it repairs BMWs and Hondas. It is using the mark Honda to refer to cars genuinely produced by the Honda Motor Company and simply asserting that it is able to conduct repairs on those cars. Another example of nominative fair use is use of a competitor's trademark in comparative advertising. When Verizon advertises that it has better coverage than AT&T, it is making nominative fair use of AT&T's mark because it is actually referring to AT&T's services. Under nominative fair use, the entity using the trademark is permitted to use only as much of the mark as is necessary to identify the goods or services to which it is referring and cannot imply any sponsorship or endorsement by the mark holder. One other example of nominative fair use is the use of another's trademark for the purpose of a product review. Classic fair use occurs when a trademark is used in good faith for its primary meaning and no consumer confusion is likely to occur. Classic fair uses typically involve marks that are descriptive. For example, even though Kellogg's has gained secondary meaning for the mark All Bran, another cereal manufacturer might be able to describe its cereal as All Bran if indeed it consists entirely of the hard outer layers of cereal grains. How does fair use of trademarks differ from fair use of copyrights? Although fair use of trademarks is in many ways similar to the fair use of copyrights, there are differences. Under copyright law, you can use a copyright for the purpose of parity. You can also use trademarks for the purpose of parity, but whoever does so must be very careful to avoid creating confusion in the marketplace and diluting or tarnishing the trademark in question.